one minute past the hour. So good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us on this webinar. Really appreciate it. Thanks so much for your time. Uh, so a bit of housekeeping to start with. We're probably going to last 25, 30 minutes in total. Um, we've got three properties here presenting today, which is great. Uh, we are recording the webinar as well, so we'll send that out uh, later on today or tomorrow. Just so you know, there's two vouchers to be won to stay at either Casa de Langa or at Cameral Golf and Wellness, and they'll be drawn out at the end of the week, drawn at random from the attendants, participants attending these webinars this week. We are doing two webinars we're doing today and Thursday, so we'll pull the lucky winner out at the end. Everybody is muted today. We do have the group chat, so feel free to fire away with any questions in there. And then what we'll do at the end, once the properties have run through the, the different presentations, is we'll come back to those questions at the end and answer those for you. But feel free to fire away, ask any questions. We don't mind, anything goes absolutely. Okay, let's make a start. So, Who are Calliope, first of all? Thought we'd do a little brief introduction. I'm sure a lot of you know who we are. Uh, so Calliope, or Calliope, however you wish to pr pronounce it, is means beautiful voice uh, from the Greek muse, uh, precise and elegance, poetry and music. Calliope is also a hummingbird. It's a hummingbird that travels the longest distance. It travels over 5,000 miles. And we're a luxury hotel representation company working with independent properties. Team, Calliope. So I am Dan, Dan Clark. So I'm based in, in the UK. I'm based in just outside of London. And I cover Europe, representing the properties that we work with. I'm sure a lot of you already know Natalie Payne. Natalie's based, based in the US, uh, covering the US and Canada. And also Lindsay, again, who's based in the US, working alongside Natalie, covering markets throughout the US and Canada. So that's our team. What properties we're covering today? So we have Manuela from Casa de Langa, who's up first. Um, then we have the Old Course Hotel in Scotland in St Andrews that I will cover. And then Lydia is here from Cameron Golf and Wellness. Uh, to run through the presentation for, for Camel Golf and Wellness there. So, Emanuela, over to you. Thank you. So, I just asked you for the control. Yeah. It should work. Let me just do a test. No, it doesn't work. It does say I can control it. <laughs> Got it? It does say that I can, but I can't. <laughs> I don't know. Now it works. Okay. Finally. So, well, thank you everyone for joining this morning or afternoon or evening, depending on where you are. Um, so we I'll run through the presentation of this fantastic property. We're based in Piedmont. And we know that Italy is a big, big uh, destination for all your clients. And we wanna make sure that you have this other destination within Italy that is a little less known, but it's fantastic in terms of food, wine, views, and uh, it's a destination to relax. So as you can see, we're part of the major consortia. So feel free to reach out to me for any questions. Uh, the hotel was open in 2021, so it's a brand new property. Um, and we only have 39 rooms, so it's a boutique hotel. And this map will help you familiarize with the region a little bit. We'll start with this yellow, uh, bigger picture of Italy. Uh, Piedmont is the northwest part of Italy. We're bordering France and Liguria. And specifically, we're in this gray area within Piedmont. So we are the southern part of the region. Alba, you might know it, is the biggest town that we have nearby. It's just 20 minute drive. And it's famous for the white truffles. In autumn, we have this international truffle fair that attracts people from all over the world that are interested in the gastronomy and the wines. And wine-wise, we have these two fantastic wine regions just uh, uh, nearby, which are Barolo and Barbaresco. They're two bold wa red wines that are produced only here, and they're uh, extremely rare to find and source, so people travel as well from all over the world to taste the wines. 20 minutes from Alba, it said that's where we are. So in this little white dot here. Um, 
it's a it's a very interesting destination if i can scroll to the next picture that doesn't work why it doesn't work then doesn't it doesn't move you're muted for god's sake okay Okay, so we have these uh, ideas for you to pair this destination with other famous places in Italy. Uh, of course, we, we think that most of the times clients want to visit something they haven't seen before, but also pair it with a the destination they already know and they feel more comfortable with. with. So these are some of the ideas that we have. Um, and they call Mo Milano, Cinque Terre. You see there between two to three hour drive. It's very easy. We recommend renting a car at the airport or we can get you a rental car here at the property if you prefer to get transferred with the uh, uh, fancy Mercedes to us. That's an overview of the property. You see we're in the middle of nature. It's a fantastic scenery because we have 42 hectare or 103 acres of land around us that includes vineyards, two big forests. Uh, we have hazelnuts. Uh, so it's very, very peaceful and very private. Uh, despite it looks in the middle of nowhere, we are just uh, about seven minute drive from uh, the towns nearby. So don't worry, <laughs> we have everything um, close to us. This is a winter picture. So it does know, not, more, not a lot anymore, but it, it's fantastic when it does. This is a view from the piazza, so the central part. And you can see uh, these two hills in front of you will be the Barolo region. So you can see everything from uh, up front. And again, it's a 10, 15 minute drive to reach the first town if you want to go wine tasting. As we go inside the hotel, so you see this is a very contemporary, very warm, homey approach. We decided to keep it very familiar, despite we have all the standard of services. We're five stars, so we have everything your clients might want to have and find, but we are very relaxed five star. Casa di Langa also recalls this sort of philosophy. And now as we scroll through the different categories, as said, we have 39 rooms divided in six categories. You see the mood and the tones, the colors are always very similar. What change really is the size of the room and the view for, that you get from the many windows. Each single one of the rooms have a balcony or terrace, which is big and you can uh, just sit outside overlooking the vineyards, enjoy your glass of wine. This is uh, one picture of the bathrooms. And this is the view you get. This is actually today. It looks like this. It's very snowy. It's fantastic. It's blue sky. Everything is blooming for spring after we had so much rain. So it's really fantastic. This is the cocktail bar that serves the lobby area, serves food during the day as well. And you can sit outside in the piazza. We're going to get uh, tables and chairs and umbrellas soon uh, out there. So you can really enjoy the view without, needed, uh, without being at the restaurant small spa this is a uh, it's called Lelose and we offer this space included in the room rate as private use so you just need to book in advance but your clients will have access to this area for an hour 15 minutes every stay free of charge if they want to go more uh, than once we can definitely accommodate that according to their request this is the outdoor pool and we have uh, we have it open depending on the weather, let's say May to October, and it's a heated pool. There will be a, a bar that serves food throughout the day, so you don't really have anything else to do than ordering food and wine and enjoy the view, which is fantastic. As you see, uh, we don't see the mountains in summer. It's always hazy, but they're right there behind these two hills full of vineyards, and it's uh, very, very peaceful. There's no noise whatsoever. And to finish, we have this fantastic restaurant. Faula means um, fable story in dialect. It's a single F&B outlet. So the only restaurant we have on property, but we offer different um, menus for lunch and dinner. So the dinner is a little bit more fine dining, yet being extremely, extremely flexible. So if you have any special requests, please let me know. 
Uh, it, the big focus of Faula is, of course, the local products. We have huge gastronomic um, heritage that we are showcasing here. As well, we have a big focus on the vegetables because we are a sustainable hotel and we have a 3000 square meter garden that you can tour with the gardeners and then you can really see everything that you find in the garden straight in your uh, plate at the, at the same evening. So it's a very interesting um, menu as well, this vegetable menu. And to f that's the garden that I just mentioned. And to finish briefly on the experiences. So we have a pl plenty of things for your guests to do on property, wine on property. So from the standard cooking classes and wine tasting, there are always uh, a big sell. We have the truffle hunting property uh, done, uh, sorry, the truffle hunting directly on property, uh, plus several other things. Uh, they are all very local and very Casa di Langa. And if they want to go out, plenty of uh, little towns and villages to visit, get a glass of wine outside overlooking the vineyards. And if you have any questions, I'm here. Just let me know. And thank you very much for joining us. Beautiful. Thanks, Manuela. Can you hear me again? Can you hear me, Manuela? Perfect. Great. Thank you so much. Amazing. Amazing property. So let's now head over to Scotland. So the Old Course Hotel, which is located in St Andrews. This is a kind of side view from the property. Um, and this picture is actually taken from the Old Course Golf Course itself. Uh, the property don't own the Old Course Golf Course. They have their own golf course, which I'll show you some pictures for in a minute. But there are 12 golf courses within, within the vicinity of St Andrews. I know availability to get onto the old course course itself it is quite difficult. There's the ballot system to get onto this course, um, which I believe you have to enter the ballot 48 hours before, and you only find out 24 hours before if you've made it onto the course. However, the hotel do have a package. Um, it's called Sweet Golf. It's a five night package. It's for four golfers, and it's available between April and October is subject to availability, but that does guarantee that the, the players, if they do want to come to the Old Course Hotel and play the Old Course Golf Course, it does give that guarantee to get on there, but it is subject to availability. So the Old Course Hotel is 175 rooms, uh, eight different room types, six different restaurants, and they have the cola, water and spa as well. Location wise, so to get to uh, the Old Course, you can fly direct into, into Edinburgh from across the US, from, from Canada, um, from throughout Europe, straight into Edinburgh as well. And that's one hour, one hour transfer. Again, the hotel can, can arrange a luxury transfer um, straight, straight to the hotel. But there is also the train station. So there's a train station in Lucas, uh, which is just 10 minutes from the hotel. Um, so you can come direct from London, straight up straight up to Lucas and then get a get a transfer across to the hotel, which is only 10 minutes away. Again, if you're getting a, a flight from Europe or from, from, from London, you can also fly to Dundee. And Dundee's really, really close, 20 minutes from the property. There is Lucas um, private airstrip as well. If guests are flying in from helicopter or from private jet, they can fly into Lucas, which is just 10 minutes from the hotel. So that's how to get there. Eight different room types in total. Um, I won't fire through all of them and show you all lots of pictures, but it gives you an overview of what the rooms look like. And similar to Casa de Langa, the difference in room type is the size, it's the view. That's, that's the real difference that comes between the room types at the Old Course Hotel. But this is just above the entry level. And the idea with the colours, the colour schemes throughout all the rooms is to bring the outdoors indoors, especially during the, the springtime. So you've got these lovely greens, uh, these really uh, rouge colours as well. Living spaces. And this is the first kind of glimpse you get from the view from the old course. So you can see out to the North Sea and also straight into St Andrews. As we move up the categories, the rooms have the, the side space for separate F&B areas and into the suites as well. This is the penthouse suite. I visited this one quite recently, it's beautiful. Uh, so you've got the lovely fire at the end of the bed, the screen that pops up at the end there as well, and the brand new bathtub. 
There's the lovely views and the, the, the separate living space. So there's six different restaurants in total. This is the Round Road Hall restaurant. Uh, this is more of a fine dining, locally sourced produce from this restaurant. Next door to that is the Road Hall Bar, where they're doing a 400 different whiskies in here. So great for a pre-dinner aperitif or spending some time after dinner. This is the perfect space for that. Swilkin Loft is a newest space. So this has recently been refurbished. And again, you've got that view into St Andrews here. Uh, so you can see the 18th hole on the golf course, views out to sea. This is more of a more modern, modern restaurant with a menu that changes on a weekly basis. Lovely view at night. So you can see the distance into St Andrews itself. So that's the town itself. So it's a, a five or 10 minute walk from the hotel straight into St Andrews. The Old Course Hotel uh, also own Hamilton Grand, which is that building you can see at the end there with the orange lights on top. That's, it's more residential, so guests have apartments which they live in, which they stay in, but they do have a few rooms that they can sell. And at the bottom of Hamilton Grand is a, is a bar, it's more of an American bar at the bottom of that space. You can go in there, you can watch sports, gastro food that they serve in there. Beautiful views. There we go, that's the restaurant. Connected to the hotel, they've got a pub. It, uh, the hotel used to be a train station um, originally. So this is the old station house. Uh, they, they've kept that, they've maintained that. It's called the Jigger Inn. It's a smaller a smaller uh, pub with an outside space and take around 40 people in total. But great, if you just finished a round of golf, you can come in here, have a beer, have something to eat, or even sit outside and watch the players finish on the 18th hole. A range of different event spaces for families or for smaller groups. The Kona Water Spa has so been through a big refurbishment recently. The gym, a new steam room and sauna have been put in at the end of this space on the left hand side. So guests get to use all this space. And then the Duke's Golf Course. As I mentioned before, this is the hotel's um, golf course that they have. It's a 10 minute journey from the hotel up to the Duke's course. Um, it's a Challenging course, it is, I've played it. Um, and here you can hire left-handed clubs, right-handed clubs. There's pros who can assist with, with teaching if you need that as well. Lovely views back into St. Andrews. Beautiful. And just to highlight, so the hotel is located, located just on the left-hand side, just out of picture, just here. This is St. Andrews as a whole. The property, are, there's lots of activities and country pursuits that guests can be, get involved with. Great for families to do. It's called the TC's Estate. And that's just a 15 minute journey. And at the TC's Estate, you can do clay pigeon shooting. You can do archery, air rifle, anything works for families from a country pursuit point of view. They can do it there. Just to highlight that building on the right hand side is the University of St. Andrews. It's where... Uh, William and Kate met, uh, I think it was in an episode season six of The Crown. There's the views of the sea as well. Lydia. Lydia. Lydia, you should now have power. Can't hear you, Lydia. Lydia? Get me better. There you go. I can hear you now. Perfect. Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> so I have the power now and you can hear me, right? Okay. Okay. So Camiral Golf and Wellness is located um, less than one hour from Barcelona, 20 minutes from Girona, and 20 minutes also for Costa Brava. 
Um, we have direct flights, um, 14 direct flights from US, and it's great to pair with um, Madrid, Barcelona, Valencia, or close cities um, around, around Girona. So um, it's great also for pre and post cruise um, to combine with um, Dali roads, um, fishing villages such as Cadaques or Calella, which are very close to the to the resort. Also in the region, we have 13 restaurants with 18 Michelin stars, as one of them is um, Alzariera Can Roca, which is considered the best um, restaurant in the world. Or also in Girona, um, it's a beautiful city with the most well-preserved Jewish quarter in Europe and beautiful, beautiful beaches. So Camiral Golf and Wellness, um, it's a resort that has 500 acres. Um, we have 138 rooms, five stars and living hotels of the world. As you can see, the, the hotel is very bright um, with a lot of light, um, very modern, the design. Um, and as I said, um, we have 138 rooms. This is a superior room which is the entry level. Then this is a junior suite room, duplex room, duplex suite. Um, this one has two floors and it's great for families. Um, there's the main bed upstairs. And here, as you can see, we can make a second bedroom. Then here you can see the Camille suite. Um, these are the newer suites. Very wellness focused, as you can see on the style. It's also very modern and they were renovated last year. And this is our presidential suite. Also, as you can see, with a lot, a lot of light. Also at the resort, we have villas. We have around 250 villas um, for rent and also for residents that live here at the resort. This is one of the example of the villas that we have um, with the infinity pool, very modern and staying at the villas also um, give you access to the entire resort. This is um, the pool at the hotel. And at the resort, we have five um, restaurants, 1477, it's a fine dining restaurant. Then the Club Cafe, it's a more a bistro, classic um, restaurant with international food facing the golf courses. Bella's Restaurant, which is the Italian restaurant for um, pizza, pasta, um, delicious pizza, by the way. <laughs> then the Pool Bar, um, summer season, we always have um, concerts like jazz music, rumba, and the lounge bar open the whole day for cocktails or also um, healthy food, snacks. And also the wellness center, um, also brand new wellness center that combines um, holistic treatments with high-end technologies such as cryotherapy, photobiomodulation, oxygen chamber technology that normally you can find in a uh, more clinic focused hotel. Um, we do retreats um, programs from um, a weekend to entire week, detox program, anti-aging program, and also retreats like menopause retreat or sports recovery retreat. And also we have um, two golf courses. Um, both of them are on the top 10 in Spain and 18 holes each. Um, the Stadium and tour course. Here you can see an overview. We also have vineyards and we produce our own wine, um, white, rosé and, and red. We do activities like wine tasting, also um, a forest park with zip lines for kids and adults as well, very funny. Tennis and paddle courts. We do activities during the whole day, um, especially summer season, like biking. Um, we also have running circuits. 
We have a kids club from two to 14 years old. Also, we do activities um, with the biologists that we have on site, um, like bird watching or activities with the, with the turtles um, at the vineyards. Here you can see the bird watching that we have. Also, we have bees and you, we produce our own honey and we do activities with the kids um, to go see the bees. And um, also we have a remarkable tree um, tour with different trees around, around the resort. So this is an overview of the of the resort. I hope you like it. And if you have any question, um, just let me know. I give you back the power. Um, Thank then. you. I like the power. <laughs> Can you hear me okay? Can you hear me? Thank you so much, Lydia, Emanuela. That was super. I'm gonna click on the questions in a minute to see what we've got there. But just to highlight to those on the call, Here's a list of the different webinars that we have coming up in the future. Feel free to take a second, take a picture. We will, uh, the team will be sending out reminders and invites to these webinars, webinars for the future as well. So feel free, if any of those locations you think may work for you, do sign up to our future webinars as well. We do share this um, recording, so you will have this content as well. I'll shift on to the next slide. Uh, feel free to scan the QR code here as well. Again, that highlights all the webinars that we've got for the future. Um, so please do sign up to any ones you feel relevant. And we're always looking to develop our social um, contact, contacts on our social platforms. So you'll see our link for Facebook, for Instagram, and for LinkedIn as well there. So please do follow us, like, post, reshare uh, where relevant. So thank you so much. Now let's go on to these questions. Question for you, Lydia. Uh, hiking at Camerol. Is it possible? Where can it take place? Yes, hiking at Camerol is possible. Um, we are less than one hour from the Pyrenees. And also around the around the resort, we also have different routes um, for all types, um, for a family, for an experienced one. We have different routes to the mountains or also to the coast. Actually, at the coast, there's a very famous um, route that follows the coast from the border from France to Camerol. And also a fun fact, um, Camerol, it's called Camiral, that means royal path. And it's the path that crosses by the resort and goes from south of Spain to France. Perfect, thank you. And thanks, Barb, for your question as well. Can you share the contact info for our fabulous presenters? So thank you very much for that. We'll make sure you get all the contact details for Emanuela, for Lydia, and for myself as well. And there's actually one more question in the chat. Uh, how far is coming out from the beach and if it's serviced? Uh, the, yes, the closest beach is 25 minutes. And also we work with La Gadina Hotel, um, which is right in front of the, the beach and they have a beach club. It's also a living hotel of the world's property. So our clients can go to their beach club, which is 25 minutes. Great. And you can, they can get um, lounges reserved as well, can't they, through your connection with that hotel? They can get sun lounges reserved, can't they? Correct. And they, yes. Great, super. And another question that's just come in, when is the best time to visit Camerol? I would say from April to October, the, the weather is great. Um, it's not too warm, it's not too cold. Um, yeah, I would say from April to October. Enjoy the pool. Um, the nature surroundings. Perfect, thank you, Lydia. Uh, thanks for those other comments and questions that have come in as well. I think we might have covered all of those. I know Emmanuel has gone back as well. Uh, hello from Alberta, Canada. Hello, 
Good morning from New Jersey. Sorry for signing in late. No problem. We'll share the recording so you'll have that as well. Uh, glad you like the bathtub. Um, great. Super. How far is camera? We've covered that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Open Good during morning. winter. I think the question has just come in. Maybe both of you can answer that question. Emanuela, you can go first. Okay. <laughs> yes, so we only closed about six uh, to eight weeks. We're still working on the 2025 closure time, but uh, we're, we're going to go all the way to at least mid-January and we'll open back uh, mid-May. Eh, mid-May, ciao. <laughs> Sorry, mid-March. So it's uh, less than six weeks, but I highly recommend you traveling to somewhere warm and hot and sunny during February and not coming to Piedmont. You have the rest of the year for that. <laughs> <laughs> and Camila is open the full year. And same, same for the old course. The old course is open throughout the year as Perfect. well. Great, super. I don't, I don't think there's any more questions. Thank you again for everyone for joining us. Thank you for Manuela and Lydia. And we'll share the recording. Please do sign up to any future webinars with us. But thanks so much. Oh, sorry, a question has just come in. Okay. Who should I contact for the five-day package at St Andrews? We'll share my contact details and I'll be delighted to help with that. Natalie can also, Natalie Payne, you've got Natalie's contact details. Natalie can also help, but we'll share our details. So thank you so much. Ciao, Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.